Hey Jumbo Blenders, it's Sheik, and it is just now Friday. So, um, this week we're talking about myths, um, about transition, and I have a really hard time with this, and there are only a couple of myths that I could think of, um, I guess because I just didn't really pay attention to anything that sounded ridiculous, um, <laughs> but, um, the biggest one is that, um, transitioning makes you more masculine, and, um, I think that just has to do with dysphoria. Um, I haven't physically transitioned yet, so I can't really say how the T is going to affect me, but, um, I've already gone through periods of being hyper-masculine and, you know, not being my usual queer self. Um, so, I think that just has to do with dysphoria and how you're dealing with it. Because I know when I'm really dysphoric, I'm going to try and be hyper-masculine. So, I think it, I, it depends on, you know, how people cycle through things. Um, the other one is that transition fixes everything, and, um, we know that's a myth because, um, we have a bunch of post-transition guys, or we had a bunch of post-transition guys who have since called Stealth, um, who talked about their issues with, um, losing connection to the community, and, um, the fact that dysphoria does never completely go away for them, um, and that kind of stuff. And I think I'm just not really, that's not my goal, is to fix everything. So I guess I don't really pay attention to that one. Um, because I, I, I think my problem with a lot of the community and why I don't know the myths, um, is because I have a different goal, I think, than a lot of other people. Um, there's a lot of talk about transitioning as a way to minimize uncomfortableness, um, in the world and feeling normal, I guess, um, and eventually being able to go stealth and... I don't really think of it that way. I don't ever plan on being stealth because I don't think there. I, I don't think I could ever be comfortable being stealth as a guy. Um. I and I hated being stealth as a girl. You know, um. I I don't like being this. I don't want to say dishonest because there are some guys where being a guy is who they are, but I'm not like that. So. It's kind of a different set of concepts that I'm working from. So this video kind of sucks and doesn't really make a whole lot of sense and I apologize for that. Um, next week my video may or may not be late. Um, I don't know what's go going on next week. I'm moving back into college and I have a bunch of meetings and stuff to set up um, different groups that I'm in with people. Um, it's really strange because since coming out as gender variant to a couple people at my school, namely, um, the professor who runs, who, who's running the group with which I am housing, um, which happens to be the radio station, um, I've come out to the kids at the radio station, the professor who's in charge of the radio station, um, the staff, the dean of, of student housing. I've come out to him so I could set up my housing for this year, and I've since been put on two separate diversity projects. Um, I'm apparently on a diversity council for a grant that my school got to help promote diversity, so I get to do shit with money, so that's pretty cool. And then um, the other one is a diversity chat radio program, which will actually be online at some point, so I'll probably link you guys to it. But um. 
I have a lot of shit going on, so I don't know if I'll be up next week, but I made a promise to Aaron when I joined this channel that I was going to try and put all my videos up on time, and we'll see how it goes. Um, but this is my warning to you guys if I'm late next week. I warned you, so it should be okay. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have a nice weekend, hope you guys have a nice week next week, and I'll see you then.